decided to fall for We're on our way to catch a bus. <laughs> bus timetable. We're going to catch a bus. There's Molly. She's with us. Waiting to catch the bus. There's Caroline. Waiting to catch the bus. Yeah. Morning. There's me. Hello. So yeah, we're uh, first day in Wales. After a good night's sleep. Um, we're going to catch the bus this morning. Go and have a look. Because we didn't bring any supplies with us. We did we'd... bring some, but it's a bank holiday weekend and we forgot about the extra day. And we've got enough to last us a day. And we're here for three. And there's no shop nearby. So but we're going to... There is a pub just over the road, which we're bound to show you. Yeah, we'll show you the pub. Want me, Mull? Hey, the pub. Yeah. Clear nights and I'm ready to fall for the last time. Picture perfect times, light-hearted. Here we go again. <laughs> cool little train in the high street, like this. It's all made out of slate. How interesting. Slate, you say? Oh yeah, look. Like you get on your roof, roof tiles. Roof tiles. Yeah, impressive. So this has got 300, over 360 stones from quarries across Wales. Um, and each one has got its name carved into the stone from that quarry. Wow, 360 quarries? Yeah, Just to represent open. such industry. Oh, I didn't read that far in the sign. <laughs> so over there is a Festiniog railway, uh -huh. um, where the slate used to be transported uh -huh. around. And here, under the zero, is the zero mile marker and this is the point that the slate was measured from um, as point zero for the miles that it went then went around the world. The this world? is where it started from. That's no what way. That's what it says. Oh, they agree as well. So interestingly on the um, walls they've got a lot of QR codes and stuff for interesting um, things so you can just scan it and get the history. Cool. It's a real shame, there's some lo lovely beautiful buildings and obviously been here for a long time but a lot of it is obviously closed now, there's obviously not a great deal of maybe local people, maybe it's just um, uh, holiday makers and tourism, but a lot of it is closed. Some beautiful little cafes and stuff but a lot of it is also closed, real shame. At least it looks like the council are doing things to improve it. Uh, Town Centre Improvement Scheme, which is really good. You read that they used uh, they supplied socks in the First World War and met, remit, repaired boots in the Second World War. Interesting. There's a QR code as well. You can do an urban walk around Blenelfestnug. I'm not sure how you say it, but I'll go for that. That's Everything, enough. it's just like literally surrounded, isn't it, by rock. Yeah. It's amazing. That's sad. It's a charity shop. And saying don't leave donations outside the shop as they're being stolen. Terrible. Supporting the air ambulance as well. Hopefully those nasty people stealing stuff will never need the air ambulance. Apart from the slate, this is also what Blennefestinog is famous for. Steam train which comes in here somewhere. <laughs> 
Quick pit stop for chips, yeah? Staple diet, chips. Here. Well, we've had to change at the bus stop to get back. Eat the rest of our chips, which we didn't eat before we got on the bus. Um, yeah. It'll be about the right temperature. Turns out we're not very good at buses. Um, we seem to be stranded in the middle of Wales somewhere, yeah. opposite a pub. I mean, um, there's worse places to be stranded, at least there's a pub. Yeah, we got the bus off, but they've just got off, and then so the next bus is about two or three hours. So we're not quite sure what we're going to do now. Either walk back, we've got loads of food for the barbecue this afternoon. So we kind of need to get back. We need to get it's back. Cold. I think we'll have to walk down the main road. That should be fun. Great. So, yeah. Death walks with Ian Brown. Another round of death walks. What a surprise. We'll hopefully see you back at the campsite shortly. We didn't quite make it to walking back, did we? We did. We Pub, football, drink, local beer. Pleased we didn't walk now? Yes. Well, swear that that looks delicious. Proper local thick ham sandwich. Can't beat it. Local beer, local lager, right from here. The grapes, a most excellent establishment. Okay, so we didn't quite make it back from Plano. We stopped, we got the bus halfway, because <laughs> it stopped there. They took us off, we went to this pub here um, called The Grapes. No idea where we are, but it was really good. We tried three local ales. That's um, why you can't remember where we are. <laughs> and the best ham sandwich I've had in a long time. Most watched football. Really impressed. Highly recommend the grapes. This is a beautiful village, isn't it? It's really quaint, lovely yeah. scenery. We'd never found it if we hadn't have, um... We hadn't got abandoned by the bus. <laughs> the bus has paid us back. That's the cemetery, war memorial, the grapes. I don't know if it's just because it's three pints in, but Ian's fascinated by this tree slate combo. <laughs> Look, there's a, there's a tree stump uh, root and the slates growing through each other. I think that's fascinating. All the way down, look. There, you can see it. It's growing between the tree. Nature's taken over the slate. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> I like children, don't they? Look at the size of his ears. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it spit at me. So we got back and we're going to have a barbecue, which is great. Managed to find some local steak burgers, Welsh steak burgers from Conwy, which is just down the road. So these look really good. Um, also, as you'd expect, tried to find some local beer, but really struggled. So ended up getting some of this butty back, which is apparently, you can see it there, really nice. This was recommended to us by a guy I met on a campsite in Annecy. He was from the UK, he lived near here, and he said it's really good. You know, it's from Hereford, it's not exactly local. Hereford's about three hours from here, but apparently it's really, really good. I actually tried a pint of it at lunchtime, um, on the pub which was really good and also this HPA as well Hereford Pale Ale so I'm going to try that one too um, these are the local most localist ones I can get in the shops but as you saw from earlier I did get to try beers from the local pub it's early Sunday morning Molly and I are just Nipping out for an early morning walk. This site's really good, it's got a really nice dog walk. It's only quite small, um, but it goes all the way down to there. It's all sort of fenced in. It says it's not secure, but it's pretty much secure. 
just see it through there. There's a really cool play park as well for kids. Very nice indeed. Good morning. And Borada. It's <laughs> very good. Nice Welsh. Thank you. We've had breakfast. Uh, we've got another cup of tea because we're having a nice lazy day because it's beautifully sunshine. Molly's in the shade, just playing Caroline there. The sea hiding from the sun. Um, we're not going on the bikes at the moment. We're going to go and explore. There's a lake about two miles away. I think we're going to go down to that. Apparently you can cycle around it though as well, I've just discovered. But I'm not sure how easy it is to get to. But we'll find out. There's a lot of big hills around, isn't there? We walked up many of them yesterday, so... Yeah, it's not biking territory for Caroline at all but we're going to go and explore we had a good day yesterday in the local pub <laughs> nice barbecue for the evening and then we've uh, yeah, had a nice lazy day So, can I ask what you're doing yeah I am warming my toffee waffle oh okay so here they are lovely is that just going to fall in no they're designed to be the size of the top of, cu of cups you warm them on top of your tea or coffee, like that. Oh, ingenious. It is so tasty. So while we're waiting for Caroline, Molly can introduce you to this bit. This is the entrance to the campsite, just there. That's the shop reception there, and then toilet block just there. And the pitch, it's all like on um, different little levels, it's quite lovely. And then down this way is the road. There's the pub, directly opposite, which we're hopefully going to be trying later. Fingers crossed. That's the way out. And this is the way we're heading today, down this route. There's a walk down here that hopefully takes us down to the lake. So we're gonna go and try this. See how we get on. Aren't we Molly? very pleasant walk now we find the right way isn't lovely. it lovely now we've had many many detours but we seem to be on the right path seems to be uh, very lovely yes yeah, Smolly's ahead of us just down there what's that giant building though Caroline there I think it's a power station oh I told her I was hoping she was gonna say it's a prison or something but I realized I'd actually told her what it was uh, maybe I just know <laughs> these things for myself you know maybe I happen to do some research and look at the map I don't <laughs> So we came from down there. That's Caroline, she's tying her shoelace every time. Why does he want us to swim? I think we can go down there. We'll have a look and see if we can find the beach for Molly. That's his car park, that I know, but I think that's where you can swim. See, she's doing it again now. <laughs> uh, it looks like you can't go through here, uh, which is a shame because my watch shows it, if you can see, it shows us a little beach. I'm not sure if you can see that. It shows us a little beach just there. So we'll have to go and find somewhere else for you to swim more, hopefully. Behind you are the two big giant, I think they're the, I don't know, nuclear reactors? I'm not sure, so this is a nuclear power station. They did say that, yes. Oh, it's nuclear, I'm not sure what it is. Probably shouldn't be filming it, really. Oh well, if this is the last one we make, you know what happened to us. <laughs> Looks like Molly can't get some after all. Well, we've discovered what they're doing. They're decommissioning it, aren't they? They are decommissioning it. <laughs> yeah. One of the UK's first nuclear power stations during 26 year operations, it contributed lots and lots and lots and lots of electricity. That's good. The cost of 103 million, it was capable of supplying the whole of North, built at the cost of 103 million. It was capable of supplying the whole of North Wales electricity. Wow. They started in 1993. Most of the radioactive material has been removed in 1995. Low level. That's why security is not like a normal right. nuclear. Not that I go around looking at security and nuclear, just to <laughs> clarify. Just to be clear, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> <sighs> nice walk. Hmm. Good walk. back 
from our walk and now we're having Sunday lunch. Although maybe not Sunday lunch, but it is Sunday and it is our lunch, so. Excellent, I've got local beer from Mad, Dog, Mad Dog's Ale from the Purple Moose Brewery. Well, you've got some cider. Why are you not tired? She does that for me. She knows oh. I'm the fun parent. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, sorry, this is a campsite. You can see the van just there. Got a picture to ourselves, service point just next to us, and then a yellow tree pitch with this nice grass verge. It's a really nice campsite. It's on different levels, like laid out over different levels. So very nice indeed. Literally everybody's gone out for the day. Van gone from there, car gone from there, van gone from there, van gone from there, van gone from there. Just us. <laughs> Everyone's going back now. This is our pitch in the van. So we've got all this nice grassy area behind us and a good hedge to seal it off. Well, has been very happy here, hasn't she? She has. There's the bikes. We could have taken them today, I think, but you might struggle a little bit, mightn't you, on the... Yeah, yeah, the I might have struggled a little bit, loose. A little bit. yeah. Bit, <laughs> bit too uphill for me. I meant the terrain. Yeah, I know what you meant. <laughs> so, good morning. Morning. Day three, we're about to leave the campsite. We've had a really nice time in Wales, haven't we? Yeah, lovely, really nice. Nice, um part of Wales here. Yeah, there's lots to do around the area. You can really benefit from having a car here or a different transport as well. Yeah. You could definitely come for a week and, and like explore. There's loads of different places you didn't get a chance to go to. Um, but the public transport's good as well. Next time we, if we come, we'll definitely go to Port Maddock, um, which is the opposite way to Bonifest in So that was good. Uh, loads of beaches and stuff as well. Yeah. There's, but, a, there's a lot to do. I think yeah. just uh, plan before you go, because this site is not really near anything if you've not got another form of transport. I mean, we like walking, but still you're kind of limited it was just a walk to public transport uh, but great lovely lovely place we've had a nice relaxing time haven't we yeah no there's, there's lots of walks around it as well isn't there like the, the, yesterday to the, to the lake and that and um also there's one to a waterfall so there's lots of walking from the site as well and and you could cycle as well if you've got bikes but it was a yeah, bit or hilly it's very thing. it's very hilly <laughs> so we'll head off now and we'll uh we'll catch you in our next video thank you very much for watching bye